Hi guys, hope you are well and welcome back to the Budgeting Wing Woman, where on this channel we do lots of cash stuffing and financial planning videos. I am so sorry for any of my existing subscribers that have been here the last few months since I started this cash stuffing journey. I know I kind of just disappeared <laughs> off the face of the earth for the last few weeks. However, things have been very busy behind the scenes. I have my son's birthday, we had Christmas, we then got sickness bugs. Um, we had the C word, I'm not gonna say that in case YouTube kind of blocks it out, but we had that before Christmas and before birthdays and stuff as well. So it's been very full on, alongside the fact that both me and my husband are self-employed. So we don't actually have any income coming in during the Christmas period, um, which is something I'm definitely gonna be talking about in this video. So I thought I would jump straight in today with my financial goals for 2024. I am so excited to share this video with you. I thought really, really hard about what our goals are for this year. And a lot of the time I make goals that are semi unachievable. So this year I really wanted to make sure there were goals on here that I knew we could hit, conquer, achieve, smash and more. So if you want to see what financial goals I have planned for 2024, then just continue to watch. Okay, so we're going to jump straight in with our financial goals for 2024. And I'm so excited to film this video and share it all with you guys. I have been thinking about this for quite a while now as to kind of what I want out of this. And so there's kind of a few different things in here. Now, one of the very first things that I'm putting in here is to stick to cash stuffing, which sounds really silly. But I want to make sure that every single week I am cash stuffing regardless. I have absolutely loved doing zero based budgets each week and cash stuffing. And I really do feel like it helped me in the last quarter, I think it was, like the last two, three months of 2023. So I definitely want to do that throughout all of 2024. Um, and I don't really want to falter, like the only weeks that we should really not be cash stuff in are the weeks where we have no income whatsoever. So I think that's definitely achievable. The next one that I have, which again, definitely achievable, is no new debt. So obviously I've mentioned in quite a few videos that I'm prioritising paying off our debt over really building a big emergency fund right now. But this is a huge one. I don't really want to accrue anything new. I don't want to have to use credit cards or any form of credit to fund our lifestyle this year because I want this to all be encountered for within our cash stuffing. And I do feel like that really, really helped us this year. So moving on from that, a big one, which again, it may seem silly to some people, but it's two family holidays. Now I want these paid for in cash. So I don't want to, again, be putting anything on a credit card for these. I want these to be in cash. Now, I'm kind of expecting this to come to around five and a half thousand pounds. There is five of us in my family. One of these holidays we've already booked and we've already been paying off. So again, that's all been accounted for within my cash stuff in. And the other holiday that we would like to go on is Disney. Now, we have this preliminary booked for the end of the year. We kind of booked our hotel and we know how much the tickets are going to be and stuff like that. So again, keep an eye out on my next few videos when I do my binder set up for 2024 because I'm so excited to share that with you. I have so many new binders and I have lots of new happy mail coming. So I'm so excited to share that all with you. But Disney is definitely going to be incorporated into this. So then we have an emergency fund. Now, obviously, I've done Dave Ramsey in the past. I do think... An emergency fund is really, really, really important. However, for us, we also feel like saving interest on our debts is just as important. So we've been slowly funding our emergency fund, but one of our priorities this year is to make sure that we get our emergency fund to £1,000 just to have the basic necessities there where we need them. Now, something I realised from over the Christmas period is that what we haven't really accounted for in this past year is for the times where my husband is no longer at work. So for example, over the Christmas period, he can't go to work, it's not physically possible. So we are left with less income in those weeks and months. So something I really want to account for this, this year and get funded is a one week ahead fund, which may seem really silly to some people, but what my husband really wasn't able to do this year was to take a week off of work, to have time with the boys or anything like that, unless it was a holiday that we were going on. 
And we really need to kind of make sure that we fund basically some holiday days for him, whereby our bills and our cash flow isn't going to be affected. So I really want to get that fully funded. Um, so one week ahead fund are fully funded. And this isn't going to be overly a lot of money in comparison to some of the um, categories, but it is something that I do want to start prioritising. Now, another thing again, and I used to do this all the time, but I want to have Christmas saved by September. I am very much a person that likes to buy early. My son's birthday is in December. I don't like it all clashing. I like to be able to start buying things when they're on offer. A lot of the things I find go on offer prior to Black Friday and things like that, and nothing really drops in the Black Friday sale substantially. So I do want to start buying for this. And by September, I want to be able to start buying things. I actually have a whole Christmas binder, which again, I'm going to share that all with you in another video. So do keep an eye on that because I'm really, really excited for what I've got going into that. Um, but yeah, I just kind of want to be really, really be prepared for Christmas. Me and my husband love Christmas. So it's one of my goals. Then the next thing that I've got on here is I want to have £100 in savings in the bank each month. Now, it might seem really minimal, but just to accrue a little bit of interest and to start making our money work for us a little bit better. Um, again, it's not a lot, but I do want to start putting that aside where possible. And then at the end of the year, we will have about £1,200 in online savings as well as our cash stuff in. So that is another thing. Next up, and there are a lot here, we're almost coming, I'd say we're about halfway through of my initial financial goals, but I'd also like to clear 2K off of debt. Now, this is 2K as a minimum. And when I say this, this is considered as kind of like getting rid of all those little debts. So I've worked out that roughly our six smallest debts come to around that amount and I think we only have like 10 debts in total and when I say debt I mean little things like PayPal credit accounts or Next accounts like they're not huge debts none of the money that we have is huge but we do have quite high expenses each month against our income and I'm slowly starting to build my income back again since being off of work and being quite poorly so I really really would like to account for that we've also tried to make sure this year that we're really kind of having a balance between clearing down our debt which is our main priority but also really kind of making sure that we're adding in these odd fun things to keep us motivated along the way, like the holidays. And obviously enabling my husband to take time off of work where we're not struggling. After clearing off of 2000 off of our debt, so I want the six smallest debts completely gone without foul. We also have three mini breaks booked in. So I'm actually away with my sister in Dublin. So I'm going there for a concert. So that is one mini break. Um, we also are going to Manchester in, in a few months' time because my son has tickets to go to a Manchester United game. That was our gift to him for his birthday. He's a huge Man United supporter. We went to Old Trafford a couple of years ago and did a stadium tour, but we promised him tickets. So he's finally going. That was his big birthday present in December. So we're also going there. And then I would also like to go away for my birthday. Every year I don't really ask for a present. I normally like to get um, and go away and have a trip with my husband and just have some peace. So this year I actually want a UK break. We was contemplating going away, but I've actually changed that because I really just want to chill out and relax. So again, I want all of these done in cash and nothing else. And then the very last one on here is I would love to start generating an income from this. So whether that's from a little bit of money from my YouTube videos or also from the products that I'm about to sell. So I have mentioned a few times now that I have products and you will see these in my upcoming video. And I've been working tirelessly on these over the last few weeks and months. So I can't wait to finally get them up. So hopefully by the time this video is going live, you will see my products, but if not, you will definitely see them by the time I have my binder setup video go live. So do stay tuned for that. But I would love to start generating an income from cash stuff in. And I haven't really put specifically a budget or in a total amount that I would like to earn from cash stuff in on that. But just kind of generically, I would like to start bringing in a little bit from this. I think it would be amazing to start generating some income from the videos that you guys watch and also from products that I'm selling and to know that people like what I'm selling. And I've really enjoyed making them. So I'm really, really excited for that. 
And then they are probably like my main goals for 2024 and what I would say are the things that I really want to achieve. And I think they're all doable, like sticking to my budget and cash stuff in, not accruing any new debt, our holidays. And if we don't have the second holiday in Disney, then so be it. But I really want to work towards it and maybe we'll push that into the new year of 2025. Funding our emergency fund, I think is really, really important. Getting one week ahead and having that fully funded so my husband can take some time off having Christmas saved for. I think all of these things are really, really doable and things that we've kind of already got planned. However, I then have some stretch goals. So these are my financial stretch goals. Now, I am a big believer in manifesting and attracting what you want and really putting it out into the universe and I don't want to be over ambitious because I've done that in the past when theoretically things aren't even physically viable and I'm all for manifesting but you also need to be able to put in the work as well like there needs to be things in place things don't just come to you so with that being said obviously it really does depend on how this year goes in terms of things like my health because I'm due operations that could put us a little bit behind in terms of anything new that might crop up um, do you know, there's a lot of things that go into account, but my first financial stretch goal, and this is something my, my husband actually really wants, is a holiday over the new year. So he really, really wants to go away this new year. I don't know what you guys all got up to this new year. Did you go out? Did you stay in? We have stayed in for 13 years and this was our first new year out. And whilst we had a lovely time, it wasn't anything like the New Year's that I remember that we had like 13 years ago. And to be honest, the amount of money we spent, I think I'd have actually rather stayed in with the kids. So he has said to me he would love a holiday as a family, um, as a family over the New Year period. So, you know, it's a stretch. It might not happen. Obviously, like I said, we already preliminarily have two holidays booked in. Um, there may potentially be like another cheaper break over the summer holidays as well. So... This is why this is very much a stretch goal. Now, another one, and again, this is all very income dependent on both mine and my husband's income because we're both working tirelessly to bring in more money. And we're both really, really working late into the night and things like that, but is to clear all of our debts. Now, like I said, there isn't a lot of debt there, but we do have a lot of expenses and a lot of other things that we wanna be doing. Sorry, I just had a knock on the door. So yeah, the next thing that we would love to do is clear all of our debts. Now, like I mentioned, we don't have a huge amount of debt. However, we are really trying to find that balance this year between funding our emergency fund, making for making sure everything is funded. We're really on top of all of our bills. If we could clear every single debt, that would be huge. And we also owe a little bit of money to a family member as well. So if we could clear that down as well, that would be amazing. But again, very dependent on our income this year, health and things like that. Hence why it's a stretch goal. I don't want to go too over ambitious, but if things go to plan, these can all 100% become possible. Now, one of the last things on my stretch goals is that I actually want my emergency fund to be funded as one month ahead. So one month ahead um, in an emergency fund. So... I'm obviously already working on a one month ahead, but I would also like one month ahead in an emergency fund. So my expenses are completely covered as well. Now, again, how possible that is, I don't know, but I'm gonna kind of aim for the stars this year. I'm gonna really, really work hard and I have lots of goals. So I hope that this can become possible. Now, the last thing that I have that I'm gonna pop down are social media goals for 2024. Now, if any of you guys have followed me over on Instagram, you will know I am completely not active um, at all. There has been nothing over there, but my plans for this year is to really get active. So what I would like to achieve for my social media is I would love to reach 1,000 subs on YouTube. I don't know whether this is gonna be possible, but I would love to work hard enough and I would love to like think that you guys are really enjoying the content and all the things that I have planned this year. Um, and hopefully if you're enjoying this video, you would love to like and subscribe and watch me smash all of these goals in 2024. I think the beginning of a new year is a great way to start and follow along with the journey. 
but hopefully that is something that's achievable. I've managed to, I'm so close to 300 subscribers. So when this video goes live, I think at the moment, at the point of filming, I'm around five away. Um, but it would be amazing to hit 300 before the end of the month. Obviously, it's been a bit slower because I haven't really uploaded much content, but I'm hoping if I get more consistent again and sharing more content with you, this will grow. So I'd love to reach 1,000 subs. And then I have done nothing on my Instagram or TikTok at all. So I would love to reach 500 followers on my Instagram. And my TikTok. And I don't even think my TikTok actually exists at the moment. So <laughs> that's definitely something that I need to work on. But I would definitely love to hit 500 followers on Instagram and TikTok and 1,000 on YouTube. And I think that would be a great way to finish the year if I could do that. Obviously, I'm also a massive person that believes in going back and reflecting on your goals and figuring out an action plan and how to do this. And I'm not going to do that in a video. Um, but with all of these goals, I do think they are all definitely definitely viable goals and I'm really really excited to start working on them I hope you guys have enjoyed watching this video do let me know in the comments below any big financial goals you've got for this year is there one that you're focusing on in particular I would love to know do leave me a little comment down below and if you are new then please do give this video a big thumbs up do subscribe I would love to have you over here for regular cash stuff and videos now we're back at work and also lots more content around budgeting finances and so much more but that is everything from me today and i will see you all again in another video very soon bye guys